What's up guys, how's it going? I am here to talk to you about the Military Might event and specifically the Challenge Tier 2. Uh, first I'll talk about mods and then I'll go into a little bit of strategy. Uh, first thing for mods, the only three characters I have relic on this team is R R2 at Relic 3, Haunt at Relic... Sorry, Relic 4, Haunt at Relic 4, and Chewie at Relic 3. Uh, C-3PO and Commander Luke Skywalker are both gear 12. You can see the mods here on the screen. Speed's pretty important for uh, CLS. As for Chewbacca, it's mainly about tenacity and survivability because uh, you always want him to be able to, to attack. That's kind of how I've modded in general. I just don't, I don't particularly change mods for this event. Um, as for Han Solo's, all about the damage output and a little bit of survivability. So I have a health set, a crit damage set, crit damage primary, and a lot of offense primaries and offense percent secondaries. That's kind of what I'm focused on. Not so much focused on speed. Um, I think that's the proper way to mod him in general. Um, as for R2-D2, I kind of have him still modded for my resistance team. Uh, basically, speed, offense, health, uh, you can kind of mod him any particular way you want, uh, depending on if you're having trouble surviving or whatever, maybe lean a little bit more towards health. For 3PO, it's about really just survivability, potency, and speed, because you want him to go as often as possible, but he really just mainly needs to hang around, because the main thing that he does is allow the Rebels to inflict uh, expose on their basic ability. So that pretty much covers that. Now... We'll go ahead and get into the actual battle here, and the most the most crucial thing is right here in the very beginning of the battle, and that is the special ability that this event has. And this ability basically allows anyone attacking out of turn to call in an assist. This is absolutely crucial. Um, by doing this at the beginning of the match, you will it will persist throughout the entire battle, and that's why you want to do it early in the very beginning. It does have some health recovery, but the, the main thing is the counters and being able to call assist when you attack out of turn. And you'll see throughout the rest of this video, uh, whenever someone attacks out of turn, there will be assists. So you want to do that in that very first wave. Um, make sure you get that going that way they have that ability through the rest of the battle and then I usually just hit auto because with this team I don't have much problem with the extra assist you will definitely get through it if I don't do that little trick there in the beginning like it'll tap out about wave four and I'll be done so it's really important that you do that. It will make this thing so much easier. Uh, and you can manually play it if you would like, if you're having survivability issues once you get to the later waves. Um, you know, kind of stunning everybody and using the turn mirror reduction that this team has in abundance will certainly help make all of that a little bit easier as you go through. Now, as we kind of keep going through the video, one really important thing that you're going to notice is whenever we get to wave seven, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to slow things down just a little bit and we're going to focus on making sure that we finish with full turn meter on everyone. Uh, you want to finish with as high of turn meter on everyone as possible. The only character it does not matter is Han Solo because he will get the opening turn whenever you go into wave eight, no matter what. So, uh, you know, R2-D2, he has the ability, gives him 40% turn meter. That'll actually allow everyone else's turn meter to speed up and increase and he'll still be a decent turn meter and you can then use you know Han or somebody else to take out that last character uh, rather than R2 killing them but um, just kind of play the end of that remember you do expose so you can do a lot of damage you can take someone out very quickly especially with these assists popping the exposes uh, so kind of focus on that but try to go through with a lot of turn meter specifically um, CLS is pretty important. Uh, 3PO is pretty nice having full turn meter, but CLS and Chewat I find to be most beneficial just because they do offer a lot, you know, as far as the damage output. Um, R2 stuns quite nice. But as you get into wave eight, the most important thing is you're going to want to stun 
Grand Admiral Thrawn. Stun him, get him out of the way, because if you do not, he will terminate your swap with whoever you stun, and they will decimate you. Uh, specifically Emperor Palpatine. Emperor Palpatine can be a total pain if not controlled. So stun Thrawn, and then that will give you the opportunity, if you have enough turn meter, which you should if you played Wave 7 correctly, to be able to go through and knock out either Vader or Emperor Palpatine. It doesn't really matter which one. One thing about uh, Emperor Palpatine is he does have the AoE stun, but he's if you have enough uh, tenacity on Chewie, there's a good chance he won't get stunned. And also, CLS and Han won't get stunned because of Chewie, because of the guard ability. So he will be able to turn around and... Um, uh, counter his AoE and do some pretty good damage to him. And because you have that ability where you call an assist, uh, you know, you can get some assists off that. And because all the rebels have counter, if someone else is not stunned, there's a chance for assist. So the AoE from Emperor Palpatine can almost kill himself uh, pretty often. So after that, you, you know, after you stun Thrawn, kind of want to focus on Vader because Vader's the one where he gets all those dots out. He gets turn meter and then he can wipe you out very quickly. So I prefer to take out Vader immediately and then let Emperor Palpatine kind of work on killing himself and just kind of get to Thrawn whenever I get a chance to. But remember to save Chewie's AoE because if those taunts get out, you'll want to dispel all the taunts. Chewie is great at doing that. And... I kind of think if you follow those basic tips, I think you'll be in a pretty good spot as long as you have some decent mods and uh, played it correctly. Uh, you should you should be able to get it. Um, so I will say good luck to you all and may the force be with you. Uh, make sure you check out uh, the podcast every week. Uh, we stream we usually stream like some grand arena matches and then record the podcast on twitch twitch.tv slash shattered order subscribe here on our youtube channel where we put out strategy videos such as this um and subscribe on itunes stitcher uh wherever you like to listen to the podcast app and um feel free to join our discord and all that sort of stuff uh hope you guys actually found this video helpful and i will catch you guys later